Welcome to Electra Online. The next problem in the JE Advanced Test from 2021 is actually a two-part problem. They're asking for do two different things, but we'll do it each in a separate video. So let's read the problem. It deals with projectile motion. A projectile is thrown from a point O on the ground at an angle 45 degrees from the vertical and with a speed of 5 times the square root of 2 meters per second. The projectile at the highest point of its trajectory splits into two equal parts. One part falls vertically to the ground in or, or vertically to the ground and 0.5 seconds after the splitting. The other part, t seconds after the splitting, falls to the ground at a distance x meters from point O. And let's take g as 10 meters per second square, find the value of t. So let's read that again here. It says one part falls vertically to the ground 0.5 seconds after the splitting. The other part, t seconds after the splitting, falls to the ground at a distance x meters from point O. So they want us to find the time from the splitting to when the second part hits the ground. Now let's draw a little schematic of what's going on. So we have the ground. We have a projectile that's being sent off at an angle of 45 degrees from the vertical, which means 45 degrees from the horizontal, same thing. So 45 degrees, let's call that angle theta. The initial velocity is equal to uh, 5 times the square root of 2. So when we calculate the initial velocity in the x direction, that's equal to the initial velocity times the cosine of 45 degrees, which is equal to 5 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 over 2. So notice that this is equal to 5 meters per second. And then we know since it's a 45 degree angle that the initial velocity in the, in the y direction must be the same as the initial velocity in the x direction, which is also 5 meters per second. The projectile will then reach its maximum height. At that point, something happens to the projectile where it splits into two equal parts. They say one part falls vertically to the ground and the other part keeps going and somewhere lands on the ground at distance x where x is the distance from the original starting point and t is the time for the second projectile to go from here to here. Now they do tell us that it takes 0.5 seconds for the, for the the, the one piece to fall vertically to the ground. Now at that point, you say to yourself, well, wait a minute. It doesn't matter if both of these parts at this point have zero vertical velocity at that very moment in time. There's no initial velocity in the y direction for the two parts. One begins to fall straight down. The other one continues in a straight line path as a projectile until it hits the ground. Two parts that start from the same point, one that falls directly vertically, the other one that goes in the horizontal direction where neither one of them has an initial velocity in the y direction, they both will hit the ground at the same time. So the answer for this particular case, the value of t has to be the same 0.5 seconds for the second part to hit the ground just the same as the first part. So in that respect, all you have to realize is that principle of projectile motion and then automatically you get the first answer for part one. All we have to do, it's a very simple concept, but now of course we'll have to go to the second concept where now they're going to ask for the distance, x. And for that we'll have to use some other concepts as well. So stay tuned and we'll show you that on the next video. Yeah, that's kind of strange. At first, I, I looked at that and go, wow, how do you figure that out? But, but, I thought that was a trick question. But they already, yeah, I thought it was a trick question too because they already gave you the time that it took for it to land on the ground from that point and that they both have to have the same time, so it's automatically 0.5 seconds. Yeah, I looked at that and I go, that's strange. That's too easy. It doesn't belong here. But maybe they just wanted to check to see if students knew that. All right, that's the first one. Let's work on the second one. 